Um, the biggest revelation of the day, that came with confirmation from Alastair Clarkson that he is going to follow through and sit out of coaching next year. He'll take the breather, he'll take the family time, he'll take the personal development. So that immediately spins into what does it mean for Carlton who miss the big fish? If you think David Teague's not right, well then you make the change, but you don't sit there and go, well, what are we landing first? What are we going to do? I think it'd be fascinating to be a fly on the wall inside. Yeah. You wonder who's running the footy club at Carlton, and I must say from the outside, Jerry, whoever's running that football club has got no idea how to run a football club. You've got a football club mired in uncertainty at a time where you need to be certain about where you're going. And that's that's and right now they can't move until such time as they make a decision. What does this say about looking after your own people at a football club? That, that is the number one priority, is to look after your own and make everyone feel... Football clubs talk about being like families. Mm. I mean, this is the furthest thing from it. Not only have you not given David Teague the best opportunity to succeed with assistant coaches leaving halfway through, no football director, no public support, you've made him face the most undignified two-month period that a coach should ever have to face. Well, this is a mess of the highest order. Carlton look like a laughing stock right now. It's a debacle. This is a mess. Yeah. This is a total mess. So the dream result went up in smoke today. So Clarkson first. He had prefaced his remarks on Friday with this, don't take this as gospel, but it did hold. <laughs> he held to his, his truth that he was going to sit out for a year. He probably had to put that little line in after what obviously transpired uh, a few weeks earlier at Red Hawthorne. But, yeah, so the decision's been made. Um, you know, my understanding is that, that James Henderson, uh, Alistair Clarkson's manager, fielded some calls and conversations were had, but ultimately... Alistair wants that year off. I mean, you, you, you take the calls because it's, it's, you know, it's due diligence. You're probably negligent in your duty if you don't take the calls and at least hear people out. But the, the decision's been made. Clarko's having a year off. David Teague spent today, I'm told, doing exit interviews again. So he's done the exit interviews Tuesday and Wednesday and he'll head home tonight none the wiser while everybody around says he's probably facing the sack tomorrow. It's mind-boggling. It's, it, it, it really is. I mean, I just wonder, is, is there an expectation, do you think, that assuming Clarkson t had ta uh, taken the role or Ross Lyon or, or, or whoever gets a role that Carlton will bounce really dramatically next year in their performance? Do you think that expectation exists? That will be their view. That, yeah. that, that has to be their view because it's the only way to explain their actions at so the moment. I wonder what sort of self-sabotage is, is happening at the moment when you project to next year. So what cultural damage are Carlton inflicting on themselves at the moment with those that actually do remain that have, that have been caught up in this, this whole disaster of a situation of their own doing? I mean, no, they haven't, no one's been missed in this. As recently as a, you know, the last few days, you've got Liam Pickering going after Patrick Cripps in, in the media. Who, so, what, so even if David Teague does keep his job, what, what does that do for David Teague and his relationship with Cripps? I mean, this is, this, the, the collateral is everywhere yeah. and I think it's going to have a lasting cultural impact on this group. OK. So where is the review in all of this? That, that's, I keep defaulting to that. Is where in the review did it said, organise, did it say, organise Ross Lyon as a soft landing and then go all out for Clarkson? They have to get back to what does it say, how deep is the clean out? What does it say about the coach's position, his relationships and his capacity to improve the group next year? What does it say about the football director, the football manager? What does it say about the chief executive? They have to default to that. Now, there are changes being made to the board. I'm reading Sam McClure's piece tonight that says Greg Williams is coming in as the Carlton football director and as many as four board members could change in the coming days. So, again, what was the process? Because... Creating this illusion that the process was, yes, we always intended to take the report, sit around as a board, take three or four days to contemplate it, make our actions, are totally separate to what's been going on, where half the board seems like it's about to be jettisoned mm. as they reach their decisions, mm. and they had all these side projects going. Yeah. Could, could you just not get back to the core of what you asked for on June 12 and have been delivered and see what you might do from there? And tonight we wait which is 
frankly bizarre, we wait to hear what Ross Lyon has to say in the public domain around his positioning for the job. So, so side project Clarkson, Cross, side project Lyon, unknown, and, and, and then does the process from there become we run a process? Uh, it, it's, it's impossible to know what, what they're actually trying to achieve down there because n none of the pieces seem to fit together. And all the while you've got the actual blueprint there that isn't, isn't being used, it would seem, to, to make decisions. I, and, and I'm, I'm a bit lost you, yes, in all of yes, this. That, I, a... I really don't understand what, what they're trying to achieve. Yep. Um, could you see Ross Lyon in the Carlton job from this vantage point? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could, uh, absolutely. I mean, because, he, because of his credentials, because of what, what I've seen him achieve as a coach, uh, his ability to, to, to pull a group together and achieve special things. I mean, he was able to... To, to get to grand finals at, at both clubs that he's been at, you know, just falling short. But yeah, I, I can see him. I, I can see him coaching again. Um, you know, only only he can answer whether he's got that that fire deep within that's that's burning. Well, I think that's at the moment that's yet to be fully confirmed. And Carlton will need to confirm it at some stage if that's yep. the path they want to walk down. All right. Um,